Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about Firewire Target Disk Mode. So if you've ever needed to transfer large files or lots of files from one Mac to another, then you should know about Firewire Target Disk Mode. It basically enables you to turn one of your Macs into a hard drive and plug that hard drive into another Mac and then transfer files using Firewire. Now the speeds are much, much greater than if you did it over a network and it can make it very easy for you to transfer lots of things. If you've used Migration Assistant and you've used Firewire Target Disk Mode, that's primarily how you would basically transfer all your files from one Mac to another when you buy a new Mac. But you can also use it for other things. Let's take a look at how it works. So the first thing you need, of course, is a second Mac. If you've got a second Mac, say it's a laptop and you want to transfer files to it or from it. And you've got your first Mac, in this case maybe an iMac. The next thing you're going to need is a Firewire cable. You need a Firewire cable that will match the Firewire type that your two computers use. So in this case, both of these use Firewire 400, which means this little rectangular connector here, the old fashioned kind. Now if you've got new Macs, you may actually use a Firewire 800. And you can also get a cable that actually goes from 800 to 400. So you can basically use Firewire Target Mode regardless of which type of Firewire your Mac uses as long as you have the right Firewire cable. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to restart one of the computers in Firewire Target Disk Mode. Basically make it into a hard drive. One way to do that is to go into System Preferences. In there, there's a Startup Disk pane. And at the bottom right, there's Target Disk Mode. When you click on that, it will prompt you and ask you if you want to restart this computer in Target Disk Mode. And that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to do a plain restart and hold down the T key and it will boot into Firewire Mode. Of course, it'll do that very quickly so you know if it works because it only takes a few seconds for it to go into this mode because it's not really booting the OS at all. It's just going to the special mode to allow you to hook up to that hard drive using a Firewire cable. Now, once you do that, you end up with a screen that looks like this. It has a big Firewire symbol on it. And in this case, since I'm using a MacBook and I don't have it plugged in, it also gives me a nice battery indicator, which is a nice touch. The Firewire icon will bounce around on the screen and you're ready to connect it to your Mac. All you need to do is plug the Firewire cable into the Firewire port on this machine and then go ahead and plug this into the Firewire port on your other Mac and the drive will show up as an external hard drive on the second Mac. Now you can transfer files between the two Macs very easily using the Mac that's booted into OS X to access that hard drive on the other Mac. Firewire speeds are far greater than what you would normally get over a network and there's very little network interference happening as well which might be another thing slowing it down. So you can really get things going and transfer huge files this way. To get out of Firewire Disk Mode, of course, you drag and drop the hard drive from the desktop to the trash. So you've ejected the disk. Then you can disconnect it from the original Mac and then go ahead and hit the power button which will then shut it down and then you can reboot and it will automatically reboot normally as it had before. The great thing is this is even more useful in Snow Leopard, not for anything special that Snow Leopard does, but because Snow Leopard boots so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to basically shut down the Mac, boot it into hard disk mode, and then go ahead and reboot it into Snow Leopard when you're done. It definitely takes less time to go and do that and then transfer a few gigabytes of files than it might take to transfer the files over the network. So hope you found this useful. And until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.